all right good afternoon good evening good morning wherever you are watching this uh, video from it's me doris angel now um i'm just here to guide you on how to set trade settings for either your spot trades or your futures but i'm going to focus on futures today but you can use the same procedure for the spot okay so let's say I want to create a trade setting. Okay, we have uh we have a signal. We have a signal page that gives us signal on the spots and the futures uh settings. Okay. So as you can see, it will be best for you to create the settings now. So that anytime you want to trade, it's easy for you. I'm going to create two types, one with crypto ambassadors and my personal one as well. So let's create the futures settings for crypto ambassadors. So I'm going to go to the mine button on your royal queue. You'd see the mine and also you see my strategy setting. So I'm going to tap on that then i'll tap on add it now now if you already have some previous ones it's okay just tap on the plus sign but if you don't have any just tap on add it now the remark you are naming it okay you are naming it so let's say i name it um let's say let me use someone with a smaller capital okay so let's say you have 100 USDT. So I'm going to use 50 as the first uh, 50 dollars futures settings. Like it's okay. Yeah, future settings. You can add it to it. You are just labeling it. So however you want to label it. So it's easy for you to look at it. Okay. I'm not going to do anything with the first buying amount. We leave the first buying amount like that. Then the margin call limit, I'll make it five. Now let's go to the settings. So we'll see uh, the signal. Uh, call drop is 2%. Okay. Even though it's 2%, I'll advise it will be better for us to get enough call drops because you might not know. So this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We'll make this 1.5, 2.5. And the last one, you can do it 3 or 2.5. Okay, so when you add all together, 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5% drop plus 6.5 plus 7.5. So it's uh, 8.5 drop 1, 2.5. 2.5 plus 5, 7.5. This I'm going to make it 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. But you can change it to suit your capital, okay? I'll tell you the reason why I did it 0 0.2. So though the call drop, they said 2%. I've done it more than 2%, okay? So I'm going to confirm. Oh, let me check. Yeah, I'm going to confirm. Then the whole position take profit callback. You can see it's saying take profit ratio callback, TP. So I do it 0 0.01 for this particular sentence. Then the buying callback to is uh, 0 0.01. Okay then i leave it on one shot not cycle you wouldn't like to put it on a cycle because you don't know the direction in which the market is heading to okay unless you are sure so i'm going to save this then i confirm i'm going to create another one that one there is just a slight change let me label this hundred dollar future future settings I don't want this video to be so long. Uh, five. I do this one percent. I do this zero, zero point three. 
then I put it on one shot let's add it here 0 0.5 0 0.5 1.5 2.5 you can increase the margin cost if it's going down okay you can increase it some of my trades have zero uh, seven though sometimes it will not go down or go up to buy more you know on the futures we've set it in such a way that we buy when the market is going up or buy when the market is going down depending on whether you want to long the market or short it so i'm going to save this settings good so i have two settings you can see the names are here 50 and 100 okay all right now the first buying amount i didn't change it because in the futures you write the quantity as the first buying amount though you would see the equivalent okay so let us go to the tut though i've already entered okay i'm going to pick another one or oh, let me see if i can still do the same i doubt i'm already trading the out yeah I'm already trading the out there is out again out again this is for spots so all the coins we have here i'm already trading them so let's pick another coin okay so i'm going to go to home then i tap on futures now if you are using futures for the first time you need to tap on manage and add the coins i think my previous video i made that clear you tap on futures you go to all then add all right so let's see this is what we are already on okay you can see that it's going down now we've been taught that the moving average okay we have the 5 the 10 the 20 the 30 when the bigger one crosses the smaller one it means the market is going down okay but when the small one crosses the bigger moving average it means the market will be going up okay so right now we can trade out let me look for a different coin to see mm. okay magic 2 is descending okay it's trying to go down but let me pick another coin that is more clearer for you to see let's look at cyber I'm just doing example, okay. Hmm. I'm not able to see my network. It's so bad today. I'm not able to see the candles. Okay, good. This has shown. So you can see this place is very clear to uh, un understand. So you see the moving average, this one, the yellow one. Okay. Uh, with royal q you are not able to differentiate the colors but they are four one two three four so we have the move one we have the green one which is the 10 then we have the 20 okay so if it crosses the move one okay if the smaller one crosses the bigger one that is when you see the market going up okay but it goes down if you see the how do you call it the the moving average 
the bigger moving average crosses the smaller one you would see that the market will be going down okay so you can see over here it crosses it i hope that is clear so you can use that indicator for entering into the coin so now let us trade this coin just for example okay so i go to at the top we have long and we have short short means if we say you are shorting the market it simply means the market will be going down meaning the current price will be dropping that is when you'd like to go in for the short so though the current price is this once the current price is going down you are in profit then it will sell for you but if you're going for long it means the current price will be going up that's what we call long so both long and short you need the settings there okay rvn let's pick rvn so looking at it looks like oh okay it's going up because the moving average the small one has crossed the bigger one okay but it's not so clear here i've i don't think i've traded rvn before i want to see if not we'll put the we'll insert the two trade settings in it okay so it's easy for you to so that you don't have to be doing the trade settings all the time okay maybe we can also use the badge settings but let let it finish loading uh okay i've traded it before two cycles okay so let us enter so if it's long assuming if it's long you tap on trade settings below then you tap on choose a strategy setting so you choose whichever settings you want to use the first one is leader julius's own this one is leader julius's own this one is the one that i used okay so i click on it you can still change the settings it doesn't matter if you are in it now the reason why we didn't change the first buying amount is over here you use the first buying amount uh is the quantity of the coin okay so you'd see the equivalent down always the equivalent is down so if i write 50 rvn it will be like uh let me 50 it will not reach because 50 rvn is 92 cents that is why they said minimum first buying amount should be 270. Okay, so let me do it 300. 300 will be 5. Let me increase it to 500. That will be 9. Then 1x. This is where the signal, where they said 2x or uh, 5x. They said 2x to 5x. That is the leverage. If you don't want it, you can go in for just the 1x. Okay so i'm going to leave it on the one x then yeah everything looks good here then i save sometimes you can change the take whole position the earnings call back to zero okay so then you confirm this is long so when the market is going up that is when this coin will rather sell now let's do it for the short so you can trade both on long and short at the same time we call it hedging so I'm going to pick one of the settings and I'll still do 500. Okay, this is just texting. I'm just teaching you the way. So I'm going to close this trade soon. So you confirm it, then you activate. That is all. So long you are here, short you are also here. Trading. So this one, you can see that with the long, when the current price gets to is greater than 0 0.1878 that's when the robots will sell but let's look at the short that what happens with the short with the short when the current price drops when it's less than 0 0.182 uh, that is when the robots will sell okay take profit trigger 
it will buy when it's rather going up before it will buy my first call. Do you get it? So that is the long and short we are talking about. Yeah, I think I've traded. I have traded RVN before. So yes, that is it. So that's why we say with the futures, even with small money, you can earn something. Okay. I'm going to close it. This ones are too much. A lot of trades. I'm going to close. I'm just teaching you how to do it. Now let's... Uh, okay, this place. Unfortunately, we cannot use the badge settings over here under the futures. Because I don't see the bottom. I thought we could use the badge settings. I think the badge settings is not possible. Because of the two markets we have. Like... You know, on the futures, either you long or you short. So I think because of that, that's why we don't see the bad settings here. Okay, so create the settings so that anytime you want to enter into a trade, it's easy for you. So you can see the short is was in profit. Now it has changed. Okay, so that is all. I hope this video would help someone. Okay. So this account is purposely for only futures. Okay, I started with hundred dollars, later increased to hundred and ten. No, I hundred plus one ten, so making two ten. But see, thirty one has been made already. Yesterday I made the highest profit, and I hope today will be more than yesterday, since the day is just we are just in the middle of the day. So hopefully all right i hope this video would help someone that is finding it difficult to understand okay so that is how to enter into the trade if it's a spot asset to i don't have any money on the spots i would have guided you on the spot okay but the same procedure just that with the spot you have the bad settings that you can select all the coins and pick the trade settings in them okay so i go to manually create uh, then i tap on choose a strategy setting so i can still use this settings for the spot okay then i save maximum oh Oh, I think the bad setting stopped working. Yeah, I think the bad setting will not be able to work in this scenario for the spot users. But at first, that was what we were using. Okay, so you can just use the same futures uh, method. Okay. All right. So that is all. Bye.